Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today we're going to answer a standardized math test question by subtracting decimals. Here's our question. Lena brought $10 to the fair. She spent $2.59 for cotton candy. She spent $3.49 for a toy. How much money did Lena have left? I'm going to ask you to pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we are looking to see what Lena has left after she spends money. We know that she began her day with $10 as she went to the fair. The first thing she did was spend $2.59 for cotton candy. So she's giving the fair people to have the cotton candy $2.59. So they're taking that away or subtracting it from her $10. So let's set up our subtraction problem. She started with $10 and she paid $2.59, which means she subtracted $2.59 from the money that she has. So to subtract, we need to take nine away from zero, which is not possible. Then we look to borrow, which is not possible because we have zero. And then we look over here, I'm gonna consider this 10, so we're going to borrow from the 10, which makes the 10 a 9. And I bring the 1 over to the 0 here. And I borrow from that 10, so I make that 9. And now I have 10 here. So once again, I borrowed from the first 10, and that became 9. I used the 1 I borrowed here to make it 10. Then I took 1 from here, making that 9, and added it to that 0. So now I have 10 subtract 9 which is 1. 9 subtract 5, which is 4. And I'm going to bring down my decimal point. Then 9 subtract 2 is 7. So she has $7.41 after she bought her cotton candy. Now let's go back to the problem because we have a second bullet. In the second bullet, it tells us that she spent $3.49 for a toy. So we need to take this from her remaining money. So we're going to subtract $3.49 from her remaining $7.41. When I go to subtract, I cannot take 9 from 1. So I look to borrow, and I can make that take 1 from there, and now I can subtract, and 11 subtract 9 is 2. But now I cannot take 4 from 3 because it's smaller, so I look to the 7, and I'm going to make that a 6 and bring the 1 over. So now I have 13 subtract 4, which is 9. Bring down my decimal point, and 6 subtract 3 is 3. And that's my answer. $3.92 is what Lena has left after purchasing cotton candy and her toy. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow and you have a great day.